guys it's your girl passion welcome back to my channel um so today i'm gonna be showing you guys how i make some nachos so right here i already have on the stove a clean pot already heating the pan up because i am about to put these onions in here so i'm gonna start off i don't know if you guys can see this light is bright but i'm gonna start off with these onions so if you can hear the sizzle in here it's because it's already been heating up then I'm gonna take my little spatula here and I'm gonna let these saute for a little bit first before I put the meat in. So I have some ground turkey that I'll be using. I don't cook with ground beef, I like ground turkey. So, yes, yeah, so I'm gonna be putting this in there. I'll be back in a minute after these um, get a little grilled first. So, my onions are starting to turn yellow. So, now I'm about to put in my ground turkey. So, I'm gonna just dump that in there. And then I'm going to use my tool here to just start mashing it up. I don't like when it's like all, like look like little worm slithers or whatever. So I like to hurry up and mash it up before it starts to cook. And I like to put onions in here because... It just adds a little bit more flavor. So I don't use a lot and I really don't like like chunky bits of onions. I just like it to be kind of fine sliced up. So it looks like this is enough for right now. So my seasonings that I'm gonna start off with, I'm not gonna put too much in there. I'm gonna start off with some black pepper, a little bit of black pepper. Then I'm gonna go in with some garlic powder. And with powders, you can use as much, pretty much powder that you want. It's like flavor, it's not salt. So you can add as much as you want in there. And I'm gonna go in with some onion powder. I'm gonna go in with some parsley. I'm not really sure what parsley does, but I like to just add it in there. I feel like it does something besides add color. <laughs> so I just like to put parsley flakes in there. <clears throat> I'm gonna go in with some Saison. I'm not gonna use this whole pack. I'm just gonna use a little bit of it. Then I'm gonna close the pack up and save it. Um, and I'm gonna go in with some food accent. This just brings out all the flavors um, in the food. You can use it on anything pretty much. I'm gonna put a little bit of that on there. Then I am going to give this another mix. And my meat is already starting to cook. It's getting a little brown at the bottom as you guys can see. So. I'm just gonna mix this seasoning all through the meat. And then after this is done browning, I am going to use this taco seasoning here. I love the taco seasoning. Um, I'm gonna put some taco seasoning in that. So that's why I didn't over season it with a whole bunch of seasonings. I just wanted to add something extra to the meat. So you guys, I'll be back after this is done browning. All right, you guys, so I am back. Now I'm about to add in the taco seasoning. And then I am going to turn this down. As you can see, my meat is browning. I'm gonna turn the eye down and then I'm gonna add some water in this same package that the taco seasoning came in, some cool water. And I'm just gonna pour that in there and then you'll hear it calm down a little. So now I'm gonna give this a stir, make sure all the meat is coated. Mmm, it smells so good, y'all. I love using the taco mix. And then they have like mild, spicy, original. I got the original one, but you can get like 
you know, spicy or whatever the case may be, what your preference is. So as you can see, it's mixing up, coming along pretty good. I wanna make sure all the meat has that juice in there and that all the powder is mixed up in the liquid. And you guys, please don't mind this right here that's on my um, skillet. It is just a stain. It's not dirty, of course. I wouldn't be making a video <laughs> with stuff being dirty. That's just all it is. And of course, these little spots right here on the stove is from what I'm doing right now. Um, but yeah, don't mind that. All right, you guys. So I think it's mixed up pretty good. I'm just knock off those onions. Then I'm going to set this to the side. All right, you guys, so now I'm going to cover that up just a little. I'm going to let a little air seep through the side right here. So I'm going to cover that up, and I'm going to turn it down on low. So I'm going to let that simmer, and while that is simmering, I am going to chop up my um, tomatoes. All right, you guys, so my meat is done, and now I have some refried beans that I've already put back there in this pot. I'm just adding some water to it. To loosen them up a little bit so I'm just gonna give that a stir and these are already cooked so you just warming them up pretty much all right you guys so it is time to put this stuff together so right here I have some nacho cheese Doritos I'm gonna put some of these on the plate And then I also have some Cool Ranch Cheetos that I'm gonna put on there as well. These are gonna be so bomb, you guys. So freaking bomb. All right, now I'm gonna go in, uh-oh. Now I'm gonna go in with some meat. And you want to get meat everywhere, so make sure I get meat on there. All right, I think that's enough. And now I am going to go in with some beans. So here are the refried beans. So I'm gonna go in with a little of the refried beans. And this is why I don't like it to be like all chunky and stuff. So I try to add water, a little water in there. So make sure you get some beans. If y'all a bean lover, you don't have to do this, but this is how I'm gonna make these grande macho nachos. So that's enough. So now I am going to take my cheese and I have Kobe Jack here. I'm going to put some of that on there. I love cheese y'all so I'm not even going to play with y'all. So put that on there. Then I have some Mexican cheese that I'm going to put on there. And then the meat and stuff is still warm, so the cheese is going to melt a little bit. But that is fine. I absolutely love that. So now I am going to put some lettuce on there. Yes, we going all out, y'all. We're not playing with these nachos. We are not playing with these nachos, you guys. All right. Then I'm going to put my tomatoes on there. Get them up in there. All right. So now I'm going to go into my olives and put a few olives on there. I love olives, you guys. So I'm not even going to play with y'all. So I'm going to knock some olives on there. 
And y'all don't want to like make my plate like fall over. I'm trying to keep it on a mountain, but I do want it to be distributed around. But eventually, you know how you eat nachos, you're going to start mixing them around. So, all right. Now I am going to go in with my avocado. Put a little avocado on there. Okay, now I'm gonna go with my sour cream. Put some sour cream on there. It's sour cream, I love sour cream, y'all. But for these video purposes, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna drown y'all out, but when I cut the camera off, just know, just know, I'm gonna take it there. And then last thing but not least, I'm gonna squeeze some lime on top. Alright y'all, so this is my nachos. Don't they look so freaking delicious? I'm about to do a taste test for y'all. Yes, baby, yes. Gotta get some of that sour cream up on there. Oh my God, y'all. Alright y'all. Said my prayer. Now look at this. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. Y'all, these is better than Taco Bell. Follow these ingredients and tell me what y'all think. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. So bomb. Way better than, <clears throat> excuse me, Taco Bell, y'all. I'm telling you. Your girl know what she talking about. All right, y'all, it's about to get messy now. So, I'm going to have to um, end this video. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm not for free, you guys. Those nachos were so freaking good. I'm about to kill those when I get off camera. Um, Please thumbs this video up. If you like watching, please subscribe to my channel if you already haven't. Um, hit that notification bell so you can be notified of my next upload. Show your girl some love, y'all. Show me some love. And I will see you guys next time. All right, y'all. Did y'all think I was going to let y'all leave without checking out my last video? Or subscribing? Y'all crazy. <laughs>